Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If I look a little weird, it is because I have on a full face, eyebrows, and everything, but I don't have on any eyeshadow or lips today. And that is because I am going to be using this new palette from Maybelline. This is their Lemonade Craze palette, and I was so interested in this when I saw the release of it on Trend Mood. So I went ahead and picked it up. And I want to use it today and tell you guys what I think about it, show you how the colors work a little bit. So I'm going to be doing my eye makeup with you guys and then I'm also going to show you what lip and highlight I'm going to be wearing today. So this palette is so cute. Like this is something that I would expect to see from like, expect to see from like Too Faced or somebody because it's like, you know, that food type of palette and the colors, the scheme and everything. So I was so happy that, you know, Maybelline, a drugstore brand, came out with a palette like this. So like I said, I was really excited and I wanted to pick it up and just share with you guys how I feel about it and what I think about it and if it's worth picking up or not. So we're just going to jump right in. So after that's finished, I'm going to take one of the stars of the palette, which is this yellow shade right here. And I'm going to be using that on this E28 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for crease and transition work. So I'm going to pack that shade onto the brush. And the eyeshadows are really soft because there's kick up when you dip your brush into it. So I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to start to put that into my crease. So just off the rip, um, I don't know if I really like this yellow shade, but I know yellow shades can be really hard to do because, I mean, I don't even really like the yellow shade that's inside of the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I feel like it's not as yellow as I would want it to be. Like when, it, when it's on my skin tone, it shows up as like a really washed out light yellow. And that's how I feel like this one is doing as well. So... But I know that yellow is a hard shade to get right, so we're just going to go with it. Alright, so once I have as much of that yellow as I can get onto my eyelids, I'm going to go into the shade right under it, which is called Coral Punch. And it is just like a peachy shade. It looks sort of satin. It doesn't look completely matte, but I'm going to be picking that up on this Coastal Scents Blending Fluff Brush. This is one of my other favorite brushes to use for like crease work. So I'm picking that color up again. There's a lot of kick up and I'm going to take that into the crease as well. So this shade is really, really pale. Like there's barely any color coming from this shade. Yeah, there's like nothing coming from this shade. I'm going to swatch it on my hand so you guys can see what it looks like. It's literally really, really pale and it's not showing up like how I want it to on my eye. I am literally packing the shade one and it's so light. I'm not really getting anything from it. It's almost like a pastel kind of color. I can see right now this eyeshadow look is going to be a disappointment. So. Once I have that color applied, I'm going to go into the shade Sweet Tea, which is this matte light brown shade. Again, there's a lot of kick up and it's probably going to be a disappointment as well because it's really light. Yeah, it's super light. Okay, so I'm going to use the shade next to Coral Punch, which is called Ice Pop, which is this super bright pink. I'm going to use that on my outer V and see what happens, what we get from that. I'm 
Okay, and that color is bad as well. I don't know why they would call it ice pop. There's no pop at all. It's pretty much like a pastel type of shade. This eye look is gonna be shit. Straight trash. Okay, you know what? So I was gonna, you know, do the whole cut crease type of thing, but since the look isn't even coming out how I want it to, I'm just gonna do a regular lid. So I'm gonna use the shade Citrus, and I'm gonna pick that up on a flat shader brush. And this looks like a pretty color, but the rest of them look like pretty colors too. So I'm putting that on my lid. It's an okay shade. I feel like if the brush was wet, it would look a whole lot better. But it's okay. Whoo! So disappointed in this eyeshadow palette so far. Like, so disappointed. So, I'm just going to take the shade old fashioned and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line just so I can finish up this look and once I've done that I am going to pop on my liner and lashes and then that's gonna be it oh and, and my lip I gotta show you guys the lip that I'm gonna be wearing but so disappointed in this eyeshadow palette Okay, so I finished up my eyes. I went ahead and applied some wing eyeliner. I applied my eyelashes. I applied a nude liner in my waterline and then some mascara to my bottom lashes. And then from the palette, I applied Main Squeeze and Sunnies to my brow bone and then just Main Squeeze to my inner corner. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. And I'm first gonna be taking the cream shade right here and I'm gonna be applying that to the high points of my cheek. Looks like I already have one highlighter, but I don't. So I'm blending that out with this Real Techniques little micro sponge. And then I'm going to take all three of the powder highlighters and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. And again, I'm going to take that Micro Beauty Blender and just blend it out so it's not so harsh. And then for lips today, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mars. Okay, so this is the completed makeup look. So now the verdict. So as you guys can probably tell from the clips of me actually applying the eyeshadows, I am sorely disappointed in this palette. I have really high expectations for it. Probably they were too high because it is a drugstore palette. And typically, typically colorful eyeshadows from the drugstore are nowhere near as good as higher end brands. And with this palette, I feel like all of the pops of color show up more as pastels which might be okay for lighter skin tones like pale skin tones but for tan skin olive skin dark skin deep skin this is not going to work at all and it's not the palette itself is not worth keeping for the shimmers because the shimmers are actually nice i didn't swatch strawberry lemonade for you guys but strawberry lemonade is actually a really nice shimmer i'm gonna swatch citrus which is the shimmer that i use on my lid and then main squeeze which is what i use on my inner corner so these are the shimmers they're okay and i feel like they would be better if you use a wet brush but the entire palette is not worth keeping just for those three okay eyeshadows so um yeah i'm just really disappointed in this palette and i'm probably going to end up selling it or 
maybe even just giving it away to somebody who's of a lighter skin tone because I don't even see the point in keeping this I, I am so disappointed and I'm pretty sure you guys can tell from how I'm acting right now like my irritation I'm, <laughs> I'm so mad and then my makeup look is trash today I don't like it whatsoever I mean the eye look is okay but I feel like this is definitely like mediocre type eyeshadow work so I'm really unhappy with it but that is my review of the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette let me know if you guys pick this up and if you're as disappointed as me and yeah I will see you guys in my next video peace